Hi everyone, Brian Moses here. Um, it's great to be with you again. We've got another great segment for you with a tip that I think you'll really appreciate. Uh, a lot of you may not know, but I was recently hired um, by Chet Holmes and Anthony Robbins as a Senior Vice President Executive Business Consultant, working with large and extremely large companies, helping them grow their businesses with Chet and Tony's principles and strategies. I got to tell you, I have learned so much in the last few months just going through orientation and being on the phone with these guys. Um, I couldn't be more excited. So I'm excited to continue with you in real estate and share some of these insights with you to help you grow your businesses. So if you'd like more information on, on this new exciting venture, you can uh, go check out the website at businessbreakthroughs.com and look at executive uh, business consulting and see what we're doing with some great companies. I'm really, really excited. So without further ado, today uh, I'm going to do a segment on time management secrets from billionaires or of the time management secret of billionaires. And I got this strategy directly from my boss, Chet Holmes, who's a New York Times and Wall Street Journal bestseller. He's written a book, The Ultimate Sales Machine. If you haven't read it, it's a must read. It's riveting. And uh, I hang on every word these guys say. These guys are brilliant. Chet has worked, well, you all know Tony Robbins. Well, they're partners. Chet's worked with uh, 60 of the Fortune 500 companies, including companies like American Express, Estee Lauder. Um, he's worked with Charlie Munger, Warren Buffett's partner. Uh, so these guys are really, really smart. So here's time management secrets of billionaires. And time management, number one, shouldn't take a lot of time right? Uh, if you're going to be good at time management, being effective shouldn't take a lot of time. So here's the first question that I have, thanks to Chet. Are you proactive or reactive? Good question. In the course of your day, are you reacting to things that are happening to you, to phone calls, to emails, to the, you know, almighty powerful, hey, do you got a minute? Um, Chet calls them the gut a minutes. And those are huge time wasters. So are you a reactive person or a proactive person? And that alone, we could stop this video right now. You're probably having a breakthrough, right? Going, you know what? I'm really reactive and I should be more proactive. So I'm going to give you some tips on how to do that, how to become more proactive in your business. And if you can do that on a daily, weekly basis, guess what happens at the end of the year? Huge profits. So tip number two Tip number one is, are you reactive or proactive? So knowing who you are and what you do um, is, is important. Tip number two is, you want to work on impact areas. So you want to be proactive, but on only things, mostly things, that impact the bottom line. Things that impact profit. Things like marketing, lead generation, prospecting, sales, follow-up, lead conversion, customer service, technology, working good affiliate relationships. So there's a lot of strategies out there. If you have a team, your team will benefit by be becoming more proactive in each of their impact areas. Okay, so there's six steps. If you got a piece of paper, you can write this down and we'll be quick and easy today, but I think you'll really enjoy this. It's a lot of information in just a few minutes. Tip number one, or strategy number one to be more effective in time management. Touch it once. Okay, you've all heard that before. Do it, delegate it, or ditch it. Number two, work off of lists. Having a written list will double your productivity. But most important, you know, I talk to people all the time, how many items or tasks or things are on your list? 20, 30, 50, or I got a list of 100 things. It's not going to get done. So focus on, when you have your list, on the six most important areas of those of those uh, of the, that list and that'll be tip number five which I'm giving you way ahead of time which is prioritize your list number three plan your day plan your day the night before so tonight before you uh, retire for the evening or leave the office plan your day tomorrow go through your list of things that you want to accomplish tomorrow prioritize those top six and then tip number four is how much time are you going to allocate to each of those? Okay, so actually give yourself two hours to work on this project, an hour to work on this project, three hours of lead conversion or follow-up time. Actually schedule an appointment, give yourself uh, some time to accomplish those six areas so that you get them done. 
Tip number five I already told you well in advance was prioritize. But when I say prioritize, I want you to focus on high impact productivity. So spend 80% of your day on things that are high impact, that affect your bottom line, that are going to affect the outcome. And 20% of your time is allowed for waste and, you know, that would include things like um, administrative tasks that have to get done, um, checking your emails, corresponding on stuff that's not going to generate immediate income. And then finally, tip number six is always ask yourself, can I get rid of this? Can I throw this away? You know, we tend to keep stuff uh, forever and ever and ever, and you're never going to go back. Don't kid yourself. In fact, let me ask you, how many messages are in your inbox? Hundreds? Thousands? You're not going to go back. So, you know, if you touch it once and can get rid of it, these are all tips that will help you become more effective. But the big one, I think, today, if you're going to come out of anything, come out of this with anything, is are you proactive or reactive, and where do you want to spend your time? I hope that's helpful. John, this uh, little segment is dedicated to you. Thanks for writing in and requesting this great topic. It's going to benefit hundreds of people. And uh, if you guys like this, we'd love to hear from you. And we'll be doing some more segments of uh, business planning and real estate tips, specific strategies to help you increase your income. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. And uh, go get them. Bye-bye.